Yeah, man, say all praises to you, Bashem, Yahweh yeah, Shai, Bashem, Raka Kodash, Double Honors to your pastors and elders of Great Blue Stone. Shalom to all our brothers and out there teaching truth in our sincerity and in our honesty. We are basically on James Jamaica, out here one more Friday. You see, Papi Sign on the don't, don't fall of his wicked society. You see me? And the gathering of the elect of the nation of Israel. You see, and right now, um, in that time when um, a lot of prophecies basically um, are taking place, you see me, um, right before we eyes. You see, like, like um, the horrified Michael Chip. You see, we see, we see a lot of videos coming out. You see me and I'm the horrified Michael Chip. You see, and that's how the so-called white man, the bank elite, a push basically become monetary. You see me, have, um, have, have an article come out um, um, since week here. Yeah. You see that about um, um, FEMA, FEMA purchase 50,000 RFID microchip. You see me, I like to a Bible prophecy because a lot of people get brought to concentration camp. Basically, receive a RFID chip. You see it? Give me a um, second, is a 16 and, and 68, brother. Alright, this is Second Ezra 16 and 68. And? For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. So this is our, uh, excuse me, say the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over us, over our people. Shall the Israelites, the so called Ligos, um, Latinos, and the American Indian. You see, because a lot of people are getting brought to concentration camp. You see, at the, the, the time period we're in right now, you see, when this prophecy is about to come to pass, you, know, you see, when the so called white man, um, I bring forth him in true rod, I show him true color. You see me, we're in that time, you know. You see me, the so called white man, the should basically be known. You see me to our people. You see me, the should basically be my eye, and I pretend like they're basically with us. You see me, they're going to be known. 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 They're going to be Certain um, people that are basically um, in, 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 in America, you see me across the world. You see, because I don't, in America alone, um, um, this thing will take place. A worldwide. You see, out in Jamaica, they might use our schools. You see me, and churches. You see me? What? And feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. I feed you with, I feed you being idle with things offered unto idols and are fighting chip. You see, going back to the article, as I said. You see, you can't get back. You have, you have, you have, you have you can't bring us that clip. I need the scripture say you being idle. Right? right? Because you're not pushing the word of the Heavenly Father. And you're not in nothing that is assisting. Right? So, more sound of idle for true, yo. Right? One. This is an article by Someone's Bones. It states FEMA buys 50,000 RFID chips from Sweden. So, 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 so FEMA um, buy 50,000 RFID chips from Sweden. You see me, I get ready for this um, prophecy. You see me, for this prophecy take place, yo. You see, because you know you have a big or a major fast flag that take place in America. You see me, in order for basically so called white man can justify himself, you see me, it's basically pass on martial law. You see me? Go on. So this, so, so this can happen. You see, because you know they have the whole terror, the whole terrorist basically I'm um, scared. You see me take place right now. You see me, I drive fear into the people. You see me with the fast flag. You see, go on. Continue. Yeah. Yesterday we exposed the truth behind Biohacks Corporation, a Swedish tech firm that manufactures dangerous, ethically questionable RFID implants that maim two recipients and may have irreparably I'm countless others. In, two, in 2017, Biox quietly exported 250,000 chips to foreign companies, health agencies, and governments. Right. One recipient was none other than the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Right, that's FEMA. That's it. Well, give me a um, second, brother. So carry on. Um, I can't ever finish. I can't ever finish. I can't ever finish. I will see. So carry on. See, go on. Uh, so second is a 16 and 69, and they that consent unto them shall be in derision. Shall be in And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision. So we scripture saying, they that consent unto the so-called white man shall be had in derision. You see me? I was basically mockery. You see it? Go on. And in reproach. Go on. And trodden on their foot. And trodden on a foot. 
You see me? All we basically give in to the so-called white man system or the so-called white man way of life, it's still going to destroy you. You see it? What? For they shall be in every place and in every city. You see? And they shall be in every place. You see me? The troops, the female troops, you see me? The police, the soldiers, they are going to be in every place and in the next city. Go on. A great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. A great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord at our people. You see, because our people basically have been wicked throughout the years. You see, man, we the men of the Lord over the years been one of people. You see, me, I tell them to turn back to the ways of Yahweh or Shai. You see, me, ask for the old part. You see, me, they refuse it. So, Lord, I use the so called white man to destroy. You see, me, two third of people. You see, me, give me Isaiah. Give me Isaiah 10 and 5, brother. Isaiah 10 verse 5, huh? O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger. So what the scripture says, O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, the so-called white man is a modern day Assyrian. You see, back then at the ancient time, you see, the ancient Assyrian put a lot of hell on Israel. You see, man, the modern Assyrian today is a so-called white man. So this is what the Lord said, O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, go on. And the staff in their hand is mine indignation. It's the Lord, indignation, the Lord, you how about me, how shy. Indignation, the Lord, righteous anger. You see, we are basically use the so called white man to punish our people. You see me? Hold on, hold on. Give me on Psalm 17, but Psalm, Psalm 17 and 13, brother. You see me? Hold on. I don't know. Yeah, 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 go on. It's a Psalm 17 and 13. Go on. Arise, O oh Lord. Disappoint him, cast him down. Go on. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Deliver my soul from the wicked. And who is the wicked? This is so-called white man is the wicked. He's telling the Malachi 1 and 4. Esau, Edom. You see me? Thou shalt call him up. The border of wickedness. So the so-called white man is the wicked. Go on. Which is thy sword. Which is thy sword. So the so-called white man is the Lord's sword. The Lord of use basically punish a lot of people for them wickedness. Yo. You see, go on. Let's keep going. Verse 6. I will send him against an hypocritical nation. So the Lord said, I'm going to send, send the so-called white man against an hypocritical nation. That's who? The so, that, 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 the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which are the true people called Israelites, because our people are hypocrites. People say, with their mouth, they show me much love, but their heart is far from me. You see me? Plus, people who love Heavenly Father, but guess what? No, I follow the ways of Heavenly Father. So he's a hypocrite, he's a pretender. You see it? Go on. I will send him against an hypocritical nation, go on. and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge. Go on. Say, Lord, the one that used to soak a white man for this child, our people for their wickedness, yo. You see? Yeah, it, brother. Yeah, finish it. Say, Lord, go on. To take the spoils. To take the spoils, go on. And to take the prey. Go on. And to tread them down like the mire of the street. And to tread them down as the mire of the street. You see? So a lot of people are going to have to you. You see me? The streets are basically lying with dead people. You see? Go on. As the second is of 16 and 71, they shall be like mad, mad men, sparing none. So this is what going to happen. You see me, Lord, I put a spirit from the so-called white man. That hatred, you see me, where so-called white man have, you see me, for our people, from the time of Genesis, like basically at the beginning, you see, because right in the time of Genesis, when I'm, when I'm Jacob supplant Esau, you see me, what Esau say, you see me, there's a, a morning for my father, is that is an you see me, then I'm going to slay him, brother. He never slay him, brother, in the time of Genesis. At this time period, you see me, I'm going to basically bring out the true rat. You see me, true hatred. You see me, I'm going to mock the hatred for our people. You see me, the time we're in right now. You see, the so called white man is going to show him true hatred for our people, yo. You see, go on. But still, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord that are our people. You see it? Jeremiah. Jeremiah 30. Verse 6, ask thee now and see whether a man do a travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands and his lines as a woman in travail? Because there is destruction that upon the earth. You see, people say, you see, every man is with them hand and a line. You see, like a woman in travail, like a woman basically like a bird um, to a child. You see, I was keep trying in a, in a loop. A loop 21 said, you see, my heart feeling them. You see, for the things that they see come upon the earth. You see, because this destruction, this, this um, destruction we're approaching right now, you see me, I'm going to be the greatest. You see me, there's, there, there's going to be no like this destruction, you know, the time we're approaching right now. You see me, one? And all faces are turned into paleness. One? At last, for day is great. At last, 
for that day is great. Which day is great? The time of the time we're approaching right now. You see me? The time of destruction. You see, go on. So that is so that none is like it. So that none is like it. So all the war them, you see me, and all the tribulation, you see me, and our, our four parents face in the time of slavery can't compare to this destruction we're approaching right now. You see, go on. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. It's even the time of Jacob's trouble. And who is Jacob? Jacob, yes, can name change to Israel. You see me, and Israel have 12 sons, which are basically so called Negroes today, Latinos, and Native American Indian. You see me? For the trouble we're approaching right now. You see me? While people are basically busy doing all the front of our wickedness, you see me? We're approaching the time when a lot of our judge of people, you see me, like never before. You see, what? But he shall be saved out of it. But he shall be saved out of it. The elect shall basically be saved out of this coming destruction. You see? Zechariah 14 and 2. Huh? For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. So, so when scripture says, Lord, I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. You see, what? And the city shall be taken. And the cities, the cities shall be taken. You see, because you know you have a lot of soldiers, a lot of FEMA troops. You see me? I basically invade them, um, the, the cities, them. You see me? The community where basically all people dwell. You see me? What? And the house is rifled. And the house is rifled. Go on. And the woman ravished. And the woman ravished. So a lot of women are getting raped. You see, because when, when state and emergency basically declare, you see me, worldwide are martial law. You see me? The, the police and the soldiers become the law. So anything they feel like do them are do. So any woman, you see what them basically want to rape them, I'm going to rape you. Right. You see me? What? And half of the city shall go forth into captivity. You see, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity. You see me? Half of the city are go in a concentration camp. You see me? FEMA camps. You see me? Out here in Jamaica, they are use like Titchfield High School. You see me? Our soldier camp near um, Titchfield High School. I'm out here in Jamaica. They are use them in place of a basically cheap a lot of people. You see? So you can say half of, the, half of the city are go forth into a... Uh, 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 half of the city I go forth into captivity. You see, go on. And the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Go on. Go on. Go on. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations. And when he fought in the day of battle, and his feet shall stand in the day upon the day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of the Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof towards the east and towards the west. Go on. And there shall be a very great valley, and half of the moon shall remove towards north, and Good. half move towards south. Good. Isaiah, Isaiah 13, verse 6. One. Oh, ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. The day of the Lord is at hand. You see me? One. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Because it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. You see, because our people now, you see me, in a, in a freedom mind, especially them so called Christian, you see me, they, they, they look for the, the Lord, and the man they ignore the call Jesus, come back, come back for some cloud. Because when the scripture speaks about the Lord, come, come back, come with basically cloud, in not talk about literal cloud, in not talk about the chariots. You see, me? so this is why scripture says, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Well, um, give me um, five, and give me um, give us five, and eight. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a Amos 5 and 18. Go on. Woe unto them that desire the day of the Lord. So this is what the scripture says. Woe unto them that desire the day of the Lord. You see, man, the word woe means destruction. You see, it's a destruction to all people who desire the day of the Lord, like them so-called Christians, as me say. You see, because they, they desire the day of the Lord, but they don't, they don't know what the day of the Lord will be like. You see me? Go on. To what end is it for you? To what end is it for you? Go on. The day of the Lord is darkness mm -hmm. and not light. So this is what the scripture says. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. You see, go on. As if a man fled from a lion and a bear met him. As if a man flee from a lion and a bear met him because you got more than one thing to take place at the same time. You see me, as I said earlier, the so-called white man, I got basically show him true hatred when basically been hiding over the years. You see me, so I'm going to do all different type of things you, you have. You have in America, you have what? CDC, Center of Disease Control, the so-called white man, you got all them diseases. You see me, you got famine, race war, you got a lot of things to take place at the same time. You see me, so say, man, I was flee from our lion, you see me, and I be a met him, go on. Or went into an house and leaned his hand on a wall and a serpent bit him. Go on, because you run from one trouble and end up in the next trouble. You see me, go on. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Go on. 
even very dark and no brightness in it. Can. 